Lewis, we, we, have, an ama- we have an amazing uh, lineup tonight on the show. Uh, yes, right. We have Senator Raphael Warnock of the great state of Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Be here. Yes, indeed. And, and we have our friend Brian Cranston is going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. I always enjoy talking with Brian Cranston. I had him on the, I had him on the old show. We've been here many times. What I didn't know, know is tonight is the eighth time oh, wow. that Brian Cranston has been on the show. Two more, and he gets to keep the mug. <laughs> <laughs> Punch yeah. it off the... Yeah, you gotta, you gotta earn it. You gotta earn it. <laughs> Folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time right over there forming the day's finest news bricks into a stupa. Sloping roofs with upturned edges in accordance with cosmic mandala beliefs to create for you the glorious 10th century Dvaravati pagoda that is my monologue. But sometimes, folks, just sometimes, I scavenge the planks from an old loading pallet to prop up against a downed power line, cover it all with a stolen construction tarp, and cower under the stained vagrant's lean-to of news that is my segment. It's a shot of adrenaline. It's a, it's a cardiac needle of adrenaline straight to the heart. <laughs> Meanwhile, in her new documentary, Jennifer Lopez said that sharing the Super Bowl halftime show with Shakira was the worst idea in the world. Coincidentally, also the original tagline for Gili. <laughs> Meanwhile, great news, Dickens cosplayers. Deadly Victorian diseases are on the rise. <laughs> Due to anti-vaccine sentiment, doctors are seeing the return of whooping cough, measles, typhoid, scarlet fever, diphtheria, and mumps. Thanks, anti-vaxxers. Really looking forward to getting laid up with a case of bilious dropsy. (laughs) Sorry, I can't make it to your wedding. My aunt did her own research, and now I have Scrivener's Ague. (laughs) But my barber is leeching me as fast as he can. (laughs) Meanwhile... Netflix has greenlit Squid Game Season 2. Great. Come on, yeah. Now they can finally win all the squid. I never, I never finished it. <laughs> Saw some, got sad. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> yesterday saw the slowest home run pitch in Major League Baseball history. See, the Chicago Cubs were down 17 to 3 against the Yankees. And after burning through four pitchers, the Cubs said, screw it, and put in first baseman Frank Schwindel, who threw this 35 mile per hour pitch. Roberts tried to bring in a position player. High fly ball off the bat of Higashioka. Did he get it? Oh, he got it. Now, now, I'm no baseball player. And neither, apparently, is Frank Schwindel. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, there's news from the world of British sports because a man has won the Powys race, a race that pits man against horse over a 22.5-mile course in Lenerded Wells (laughs) Powys... Wales. It is spelled that way. (laughs) It is spelled that way up there because the very first event was won by the horse and its prize was naming the town. (laughs) Lenerdis. (laughs) Meanwhile, to cut down on public urination, the Boston subway system is placing urine detection sensors in four downtown elevators. Wow! The Boston subway has elevators? <laughs> Here in New York, we just have these porta potties that move up and down, and they're what? Oh my God! <laughs> Apparently, the elevators were selected based on how often people were peeing in the cabs. You see, in Boston, they call elevators cabs, which can be confusing for all the Red Sox fans peeing in taxis. <laughs> Meanwhile, hot trend alert. (laughs) The new cool thing is caviar bumps. 
in which a dollop of the fish roe is eaten, not snorted, off the back of one's hand. Perfect for anyone who wants a hobby that says, when the revolution comes, I wonder which wall they're going to line me up against to shoot. <laughs> One caviar bump enthusiast said, people used to get high off of drugs. Now we're getting high off the food. Caviar is the new cocaine. It's going to be weird for the teens. Dad, I swear, I'm just holding this mother of pearl spoon for a friend. I've never even seen those blinis and creme fraiche before. <laughs> Meanwhile... In sex insurance news, Geico might have to pay a woman who got HPV after sex in an insured car. Was she confused about how insurance works? <laughs> no, baby, we don't need to wear condoms. I have a collision liability waiver. <laughs> now... Geico is appealing, but the woman has already been awarded $5.2 million because she said she contracted a sexually transmitted disease while having sex in the car of a man who was insured by the company. Man, you know the sex is good when after you're done, you have to exchange insurance information. <laughs> that is... That is more than a fender bender. <laughs> Meanwhile... Hearts are a flutter after Chris Evans' Boston accent slipped out during an interview, sparking thirsty internet reactions. Here's a taste. You got the yeah. mustache without the mustache? All right, what do you prefer, mustache or no mustache? Be honest. You know what? Be you honest. Personally? Ooh. I would totally do it with him and a car parked on Harvard Yard. <laughs> Especially if insured by that <laughs> lizard from Geico. <laughs> we'll be right back with Brian Cranston.